100% necessary purchase right here. We're gonna sit down and film a haul today because I've got some cute things. So welcome back to Imagine Grace. What do we think of the room? Okay, I have been working on it. I want it to feel like a fairy tale wood nymph kind of vibe. So that's what we're going for. And today I'm gonna show you guys all of the merch that I've gotten from Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. If you don't already know who I am, my name is Grace. I'm an American living in Japan and I love Disney and travel and girly little things like this, so welcome. Also, really quick, I wanted to say a huge thank you for 20,000 followers on Instagram. It just means so much to me, all the support and love that I've received over there, so thank you. Thank you guys if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I really love making videos, so thank you for being here. But onto the haul. I haven't gotten a ton of stuff, but I did wanna show you guys everything I've gotten so far. So the first thing that I got from Tokyo Disney, this is from Tokyo Disney Sea, are these cute little Shelly Mae ears. If you don't know, Duffy and Friends are like a huge, huge thing over in the Asian Disney parks. Duffy is like the basically the park icon at Tokyo Disney Sea, and that is such a special park for me. So I wanted to get these ears to really commemorate that. They're so cute. Here, let me show you guys them up close. Usually my ears are like right here, but these are very far over. So I like how unique they are and they just look really cute and flattering on. I wore them on my last trip to Tokyo Disney Sea. The next thing that I got are these oyster socks and it's really funny you guys because they just have this like random line of oyster merch from Alice in Wonderland. I feel like the oyster scene in Alice in Wonderland isn't like something that's super well known, but for some reason they have like this huge line of oyster merch in Tokyo Disney Sea. So I'm loving it. Like I'm not complaining. I love that scene. I love Alice in Wonderland. I also got the coin purse. So let me show you guys. These are the socks. Here they are. And then here's the coin purse. And like something about Japan, something about Japan, if you don't know, is that they really use their coins here. Like, I feel like in America, I never went to the store and bought things with my coins, but here they really do. So this coin purse was one of the very first things that I purchased here and the socks came later on. Good purchase, good purchase. Next, of course, we've got this. Like. Obviously, this was the right decision. This is a thousand percent something that I will wear constantly. No, these huge fuzzy hats are so funny. Like, look at how funny. It's just like, it makes you feel like a kid walking around. And you know what's the best thing about these is that everyone in the parks wears them. You literally see a crowd and you'll see at least like 10 or more of these fuzzy hats walking in front of you. So it's very normalized to wear crazy accessories in Tokyo Disney. That's what I want. I want to wear crazy accessories. Like where else can I do that? Theme park? Yes. Kind of similar to that is this little headband and this is the Sully headband and I've been using this you guys every single day to do my makeup and keep my hair out of my face and I called my parents while I was doing my makeup and my dad was like, <laughs> he was like, what is that weird thing on your head? Like that little devil headband. And I was like, dad, it's Sully from Monsters Inc. Like, what do you mean? If you go to Tokyo Disney Sea and you don't get like one of these Mickey shaped sunglasses, I, I don't know what you're doing. Probably my favorite thing that I've gotten here are these bows. So I'm gonna show you guys. So here are the bows. I have these bows in four different colors, all four colors that they're offered in. And these are princess bows. So they have four princesses at the moment. They have Ariel is the green one, pink is Rapunzel, um, yellow is Belle, and blue is Cinderella. So they have these little princess charms that has their silhouettes on them.
something else about Japan. If you didn't know, of course you probably already know this about Japan, but in Japan they're really into the kawaii cute culture, okay? They love bows, they love stuffed animals, they love anything cute, and I'm really into that. I'm embracing the kawaii lifestyle, so I wanted some bows to wear and like a little half up half down hairstyle. I love the little princess charms. I really want one of these in red with a snow white silhouette. Unfortunately, that's not an option, but I love all these princesses. So I got all four colors because that's just like, what I had to do, like that's what had to be done. So I did what had to be done. Next, I got this Tokyo Disney shirt and I really just wanted a plain shirt that said Tokyo Disney on it, um, just for the mems. I got this in a large to just be like a nice cozy sleep shirt and um, it's the navy color, but they also have this in gray and white and I believe, I believe another color, but I really liked this navy. It says, Where Dreams Come True, 1983. Another shirt that I got is this Wandering Oaken's Trading Post and Sauna shirt. Um, again, I got this in a large for a nice oversized sleep shirt. I think it's really cute. I love the color. And I'm so excited for Fantasy Springs and for Arendelle to open. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Frozen has been really special for me here and I wanted to be spirited and have this shirt. So that's what I did. I'll make sure to link my Tokyo Disney Sea and Tokyo Disneyland vlogs in the description box down below. I can't wait to go to the parks again soon. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos every other week here on this channel and I hope you all have a magical night and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!